Begin recording. I should do this. This is my action shot. Hi! Are you ready to break packs? It's time for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box opening. This is the bottom of my phone, right? Yeah, okay, the microphone's down here. Sorry, I'm always bad at this because I've got my phone set up so that you can see this bit and this bit and etc. But I have to talk way back here because I'm behind the camera because you don't, you don't see me. Only I see me. Uh, anyway, we're going to open some Ancient Guardians, so I'll throw a little insert. Shout out to King's Games, a game store. They give you a free booster pack if you order from them, and they don't grossly overcharge you for ordering from them, so it's good. I mean, it's it's a few days later than maybe if I'd, you know, pre-ordered on Amazon or whatever, but I probably would have ordered from them through Amazon anyway, so there's no reason not to. So uh, I got a bonus pack. We'll open that first. But let's... Go ahead and get this thing tucked up so we can turn it into display mode. And behold, Ancient Guardians, the next deck build pack. Uh, seven cards per pack, 24 cards per box. Let me actually pull up the back here. So, uh, it's rares, super rares, and ultra rares. There's also some collector's rares. I don't know what the rate on those is. But we're going to open these up. So, uh... We have a long history of opening deck build packs on this channel. I started with Mystic Fighters, and we did do Genesis Impact, and now we're doing Ancient Guardians. What we're looking for in Ancient Guardians is these guys, Ogdoatic. Uh, because myself being myself, naturally I am uh, all about a archetype deeply influenced by the occult and ancient Egyptian mythology, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Sulfacord is neat, but I'm way too small brain to figure out how to play a modern Pendulum archetype. And Ursarctic's okay, I guess. I've been hearing people complain that one of the key starter key cards, I don't even know it's a starter. It's the like the baby synchro. Is like short printed, so eh, I don't know. Anyway, um we're doing this display not just on my desk, but on my sweet optimal magician's map that I got. Uh it's pretty cool. You can see parts of it here. I'm not gonna recontextualize the camera over everything, but you can see some stuff. There's people over here, some stuff over here. Anyway. Uh it doesn't cleanly cover my entire desk, but we've framed it up so you can see it in the center. So let's push this kind of off to the side so you can see. And it gives me zones I can stack my cards in. But let's begin by opening the bonus pack. Which will take a little bit of extra effort because it was taped to the top of this thing. So i got to, like, go against the grain slightly. Up. Booster pack, let's see what we got. Oh, I wanted to mention, um, so the version of common in this set is rare. Most of the uh, utility reprints are rares, like these guys, so that's our decent chance of catching some snake rings and stuff. Let's see, we got some Arctic. We got our first King of the Feral Imps, that's good. We got a thing. Hey, here he is, snake ring. Snake Rain, this card will be busted if Ogdoatics are good. And we got an Ogdoatic Calling, and our rare, our super rare, our foil in every pack, is Mikatanis. Okay. Well, let's open the lucky Ogdoatic pack. I'm going to do this one off camera because I'm going to try and fiddle with it a little and try and get a clean, clean pack open. They have definitely uh, changed the way these things are made. So, but let's very delicately open this one because I want to slip the cards out and put it in my little binder box of cards. All right, here we go. Offer to the Snake Deity, Sulfur Chord Musica. Ah! Basic Baby Ogdoidic, Ogdoidic Boundless, Zoha. Um, a decent number of the Ogdoatic cards are in common as well. But as usual, the really basic starters are like supers, and the big, big boss boys are ultras, so. Got some stuff to go through. Skullmeister. Ayy, Pancratops. Pancratops also being reprinted in this set. I don't know if I owned Pancratops already. And our foil is. Grecia. Now we can be a lot more. Fast enough. 
loose and uh, a little bit violent with these packs because I've got one ready for being perfectly preserved. Okay. Magister Pendulum. Another Ignister Prominence. A trade in. An Ogdoidic Hollow. Another Dynastor Power. A Luster Pendulum to Draco Slayer. Hey, that's our first super rare in for Ogdoidic. Kirsay, the Ogdoidic Light. Yeah, that's okay. No altars yet, but we're going to only open like three packs. So. Enjoy my hairy hands and my autofocus as we go through the thing. Another King of the Fair Limps. Always good to see. You basically have no extra deck in Ogdoidic, so you want probably just two or three of those motherfuckers because you can. So, we'll good music. Another train. So, we'll to Elitia. Another snake rain. That's good. You definitely want all those. Light Serpent. Hey, And one of our starter boys. Yes, one of our basic boys we want to find. Now, yeah, the Ogdoidic Remnant. That's good. That's real good. Oh, yeah. Give me them snakey boys. Another Ogdoidic Calling. Wavering Eyes. Oops. You know, I've got these lovely zones here, and I'm already fucking up. Place some things on them. Elitia, Third King of the Fair Limps, that's good. Evil Dragon Anata, Viper's Rebirth. And Alaric the Ogdoidic Dark. Well, oops, careful with the corners. <clears throat> well, you know, hey, we're getting the collection at least. I'd like to start seeing some doubles of some of these cards. And also some ultras. But, you know, it's good that we're, we're starting off strong. I'm gonna pack. If you want even more pack opening experiences with not real cards, watch the Progression Tournament series every Friday. Rise of the Snake Deity, Dreamia, Rock Pot of Riches. Yes, Pot of Riches is a reprint in this. There's Rock, Sulfa Cord, and eh, Restrictive Departure. They can't all be huge winners. Center myself. I'm killing my lo my lower back as I am currently perched on the edge of my bed. If that's where my lovely stable bedside table is, I really savaged that one up. That's not even how it's. Come on, don't fuck up the corners. Not even how it's supposed to go. All right, uh, Venomenon, Megatonus, my third, I think, Dinosaur Power. White Serpent, Ignite Reload, Offering of the Snake Deity, and a Sufa Cord, Angelia. Let's start going through some more packs. Isn't this relaxing? I know that uh, some places are having shortages of cardboard, and some big box retailers are not letting people buy stuff now, so this is a good good relaxing event for everybody. Megapolis, Megabilis, Viper's Rebirth again, Octoidic Origin, the field spell? I don't remember if that's super... Let's see, the face of Reptile, destroyed by card effect. Uh, yes, yeah, send a graveyard. Okay, it's alright. Damage equal Reptile, very important. And Sulfacord Elegance. Damage equal Reptile is a good card. And obviously there's a there's a slice of red guy on it, so cl clearly, you know. Ah, here we go, I'm getting some dupes. Zohan Flogos again. Quick formal. Pot of Riches. Megatanus. Another Pancratops. Fancia! Yes, I believe Fancy is one of the uh, good usable starting sulfa cords. You need some of that action. I do you believe Pankertops is limited right now, but you never know. Venomanaga. I do get a calling again. Skullmeister again. Venomanon. Another Ares Rock Summarize. I believe that's all three King of the Feral Imps and the Sulfacord field spell, Sulfacord Harmonia. Interesting that that's a super. This probably means it's more important to the architect. I'm on to your ways, Johnny Konami. 
I'm getting through this and we have not seen an ultra. How many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Mr. Paladin, Rise of the Snake Deity, Ignite Reload again, another Eight Mr. Prominence, another Venomanaga, Ogdoidic Hollow, Arsarctic Nikitanis. Slippery Foils. My zone for Ultras is bare, and we're about halfway through. Again, I hope the rate on this is not like normal, but like Ultras is not two secrets in here. That would be really annoying. That's gonna, that's gonna really gonna cut into my singles budget. Wait, no, I'm wrong. I got an extra one over here. So that was actually, we were already halfway through. Evil Dragon Anata. Magister Paladin. Another gosh darn Ignister Prominence. Trade in. Oh, well, I got my wish. I got, we can spoil it. There's an ultra in here. Uh, I do a Hollow again. Another freaking Dinosaur Power. I, mm, so clearly there's way too many of these. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Damn. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the video. Alright, sorry about the change of angle. It wouldn't be an Omega unboxing if I didn't get horrifically overbalanced and the camera went everywhere. Sorry about that. <clears throat> sorry about the change of angle as well. I can't uh, replicate my previous camera angle because for some reason the tripod is going all over the place. It's probably because I've got a big fucking phone now. Uh, I guess I need a new tripod, which is really annoying. Or I need to just buy an actual camera and stop using my phone. Even though this looks fairly pretty. Uh, anyway, I believe the only card we're missing out on is... So for Corbutia. So, after that uh, tense few minutes there, let's get back to opening packs. Yeah, this is way farther away from me now. Alright, Konami. See this? See, it's these gosh darn corners. Stop doing that. You're gonna make me bend my corners. That should tear cleanly. We got another gosh darn trade in. Start to Quint Charge, another Viper's Rebirth, another Snake Rain, another one of these god. Okay. Alright. So, reprints are important, McVillis. Um, they're cool. Uh, you should not have printed this many of those dumb Draco Slayer cards. I know they're important for Pendulum, but fuck it. Uh, print way more lower rarity, uh, Sulfa Cords or whatever. I'm a little ticked off. Every fucking pack, I get another one of these asshole Draco Slayers I don't give a shit about, and nobody should give a shit about. I said it. Fuck them. They're dead, and they should stay dead. Oop, accidentally drawn off two. Uh, another Viper's Rebirth. Circle Musica, Skullmeister, Rise of the Snake Deity, Light Serpent, Third Pancratops, Meek Polar. All right, we're getting into the Omega's getting too many Ersarctics. He's not happy. I got all the... All the color action. Silver Card Musica, another goddamn trade-in. Miso for Cardolithia. Snake Rain, I got right through that. Another one of those. Well, we got a play set of Philogos and a Kutia. Pile my dead soldiers and throw them behind me. <clears throat> We're not quite at, uh, you know, Jinzo Best Dragon Maid levels, but I am starting to get a little pissed off. I bought this pack not to get these dumb Draco Slayer cards, but to get new shit. Fuck you very much, Johnny Konami. Another goddamn trade in. I know these are the equivalent of commons, but there's not that many cards in this set. Come the fuck on. Dark Sunrise, Evil Dragon Anata, Freeze of Accord Adrenia, Self Accord Scale, another damage equal reptile, Self Accord Angelia, I do believe that's our second one of those. That's not something I really wanted to double up on. We got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs. And one ultra. 
I'm gonna get two ultras. If this isn't like secret rares, then Konami is full, full bullshit. And yeah, yeah, I know. Some people will be like, well, why'd you buy some product then? Because, you know, you do you do get interesting stuff. Like, I probably wouldn't have picked up some of these sulfur cores if I just was buying Ogdoatic packages myself. Oh, no, hold on. I've noticed there's a slightly different border. Let's let's be cool about this. Uh, we got another Zoha. I think that's at least two of those, if not three. Assert to Quint Charge. Another Gosh Darn Skullmeister. Way too much Pancratops. Rise of the Snake Deity. Ooh, and for some reason, our collector's rare is Skullmeister. Fuck, can I move this guy on the internet? Who? I mean, okay, he's a he's a hand trap, right? But he's a hand trap fiend. I guess it's for Ogdoatic? I don't give a shit, I got enough. Anyway, I got a collector's rare. It's Skullmeister. It's dog shit. I'll sell them on the internet for 12 bucks. Yeah, I don't give a shit about Collector's Rare for the sake of Collector's Rare. I don't care that there's, like, only f so many of those cards or whatever in existence. It's a dumb card and it should feel bad. Mersilvacur Dreamia, another goddamn trade-in. At this point, I could rip up trade-ins and be more. I've got this in commons from Structure Decks and shit. Our Sarctic Quint Charge, Viper's Rebirth, another Snake Rain, another goddamn Ignis Your Prominence. Oh, thank God. There's an Ogdoatic boy. Save me from this hell. Hopefully we have better luck when we open Blazing Vortex probably early next month at this rate. As you can see, I'm once again fighting the pack. It doesn't want to open. It doesn't want to reveal its secrets. Okay, Lester Pendulum. I don't actually have a shitload of those. Hold on, this stack is getting big. Let me scoot you down the line. You don't give a shit about these. Megapolar. Megabilis. Viper's Rebirth. I think that's only my second Ogdoidic Origin. Wavering Eyes. or Arctic Slider. I mean, my main complaint here is is not necessarily that I'm getting a lot of commons, but, uh, like I said before, I think this is my, like, second copy of the Field Spell. There's way too many fucking reprints in these. Like, I'm not even talking about, like, the ratio of reprints to new shit. I'm talking about, like, Konami somewhere, at least in the printing machine, I'm reasonably certain, is printing way more of these fucking reprints nobody gives a shit about, except Snake Rain. It's cool. Um, that vaguely do something for the archetype. I'm not a Pendulum big brain. At least this, you know, Luster Pendulum is actually a Pendulum card, but... I don't actually know if you give a shit enough about the extra deck. All right, Phlogos. Oh, that's right, we're not doing that big stack. We're doing a smart small stack. Another one of those motherfuckers. Phenomenaga, Sulfacord, Megabilis, Air's Rock. Oh, thank God, I got the late one. That's a really good one. I'll have to order more if I actually want to play Ogdoatic, but I don't know if Ogdoatic's a deck that'll be good enough to consider buying out all the bits for. It's good. Um, but yeah, basically, as you guys can see from this, like, huge pile of shit you've seen me getting, like, all the, all the reprints are in common, which is good. I mean, they're in rare, but you know what I mean. They have a common version of the pack. But there's way too fucking many of them. Do you need them? I've got, like, five of all these. I'd kill to have gotten five of the Ogduetic Field spell already. Uh, and I think I got a, I got a playset of the decent, like, traps. Not all the spells, though. Still, it slays me a little bit. Sulfur Court Formal. Ogdoidic Calling, Wavering Eyes, Elitia, King of the Feral Imps, Nada. Ooh, we did get a second Ultra. Amunitia, the Ogdoidic Queen. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, look at that sparkle. Hmm, it's going in the binder. And this is why we open product, because sometimes you get cool shit. Listen, if I didn't open sealed product, I'd never own this uh, a copy of um, Collector's Rare Skullmeister, who I'm immediately going to unload on the internet. Fucking Skullmeister in a Collector's Rare. It's a fucking hand trap. It's not even that great of a hand trap. Honestly, I don't know what they're thinking printing this in the same set that includes Ogdoatic. That's just, you're giving everybody the tools to fuck up Ogdoatic. They're all about graveyard effects. Why would you do that to me, Konami? And you have the goddamn gall to give it to me as a Collector's Rare? I'm incensed. <clears throat> I'm not actually incensed. Dreamia. Logos. Okay, okay. Maybe the packs are just unbalanced. We're in our last, like, three or four, and I'm getting way more reprints of the, the rare Ogdoatics. Riches, Airs Rock, Sulfur Court Scale, another Evil Dragon Anana. Ooh! Two in a row, basically. I mean, it's, like, they're, they're a pack apart, but you know what I mean. Another Nunu. 
Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I really wanted to see Big Snicker Boy, but um, they're all all the three like big boss monsters of Ogdoatic are ultras, so you know that's, that's what we do. Another damage equal reptile. Another goddamn luster pendulum. I do believe that's the playset. Now we got our third Ogdoatic origin. It's all coming at the end. Mega Polar, Snake Deity, Dreamia, a second Kirse, Ogdoatic Lights. Second to last pack. This is with a bonus pack, by the way. They gave me a bonus booster pack. Another damage equal reptile. Another Venobanaga. See what I mean? Another Ogdoatic Calling. Another goddamn Skullmeister. Venobanaga. Aris, second Meek Polar. We have not, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they're all Ultras, but uh, we haven't seen a single one of the uh, Ursarctic Synchros. I feel bad for anybody actually trying to play Ursarctic. The last pack. There's the Ursarctic boss monster, if you didn't know what he looks like. You probably won't see him. Well, let's pop him. If this, this motherfucking collector here ate one of my Ultras I give a shit about. Ugh, I'm super pissed. Viper's Rebirth, Venomenon. Sorry, I was off camera. Ursarctic Megatanus. A goddamn dinosaur power. Light Serpent, Ignite Reload. A second four star. Now, yeah, the Ogdoidic Remnant. So we did okay. I mean, we got three Ultras. No, we got two Ultras, that's right. So we got two Ultras, one of which was an Ogdoidic. We got a Collector's Rare, which will give me money for something else later, I'm sure. Um, yeah, no, all in all. Ancient Guardians is alright. I do think that, um, clearly, um, Johnny Konami wants you to buy way more packs to get the new archetypes, which is dumb, because people won't do that. Uh, people can't even do that in some places. Konami, you need to realize when you're printing these sets that, um, there's a crisis going on in this country, and you can't just be like a normal asshole. It's not like we can just buy five boxes at Target anymore. You know, your, 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 your shenaniganzing is hurting your marketplace. You should actually be less appealing to collectors and scalpers. Um, you should actively be trying to fuck those guys over because they're fucking over your business model, which is casually selling booster packs to six-year-olds at the front row of Target. Anyway, um, most of these are trash, and I will throw them in my card boxes, but we've got some new foils and stuff we can throw in the binders, uh, and I need to go check what the market price on a Skullmeister Collector's Rare is. Because I have a playset anyway, and like I said, like when I got the collector's rare for um, a kiss kill, that was cool. Uh, that's neat. That's staying in my binder forever, unless it's going in a sleeve and going in a deck to actually play evil twins. Uh, this motherfucker, this guy. I don't give a shit about this guy. I've got like five of him now. I'm pretty sure I already own some skullmeisters. Anyway, that's that. Thanks so much for tuning in. Like I said, look forward to doing this again. Uh, probably at the start of next month, the way the shipping rates go with Lightning Overdrive, Blazing Vortex of the previous set. It's not Lightning Vortex. That's a different card. Uh, and we'll, we'll get in there. And I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff if you want to see more. And check out Progression Tournament once again every Friday.